Three Ways to Become a More Influential Leader Being a leader is about many things, but one of the most important traits you should possess is the ability to influence, inspire, and encourage your team. When you can do this, you can bring the very best work out of each individual and thereby help the collective team to achieve amazing things. So how do you influence and inspire as a leader? In this presentation, we're going to explore the answer. 1. Give your team projects. Instead of micromanaging every single tiny decision in your organization, the best leader is someone who provides a rough outline of what needs to be accomplished and then allows the team to complete that themselves. Why? Firstly, this means that you don't need to be in a hundred places at once, micromanaging every fine detail. At the same time, this lets the team that you have paid do their very best work, rather than having you stifle all creativity out of them. But most importantly, giving your team ownership over a task helps them to feel more in control over what they are doing and makes the task more intrinsically rewarding. 2. Lead by example There are few things more frustrating than a leader that does not lead by example. How frustrating is it to be told by your boss to hand in work on time, and that tardiness is never excusable, only for them to then not get around to looking after that work for weeks? When you are a leader, you need to set the tone for your office, and you need to set a blueprint for how others will behave. In a crisis, your team is going to look to you for how to respond. If you are panicking and shouting, then they are unlikely to remain productive. But if you can calmly continue with your work, then chances are that so can they. Likewise, if you want them to wear a smart shirt into the office, then you need to as well. 3. Provide credit where it is due. Providing incentives for completed work has been shown in studies not to work. This has the unfortunate effect of making people focus too much on the end goal thus reducing creative thinking and problem-solving. But what you should do is ensure that the contributions of each team member are felt and that they feel rewarded through credit. When you do this, you will create a situation where everyone wants to do their very best work because they know it is valued and seen.